we like our drivers to be persistent, you know, about bagging up, you know, trailers and containers. You know, bagging is one of the key issues that a driver need to know about and, and need to learn how to do the proper way. All right. Now I'm getting ready to bag up this trailer here in door 11. This is the way we bag, the proper way. First, you gotta look at your angles and everything looks so clear right now. So this should be easy. This shouldn't be too hard. You just pull up and kind of pull as far as you can away from the spot you're bagging up, cause this is a, a, a 53. So now I'm bagging up. This is how you do it. to do 12, so I'm gonna change from 12 to 11. Just take your time and just go very slow. And angle it up like the simple. Line, always line yourself up to the dock. Now, you see how easy that was? Now you just pull up, pull up an inch away from the dock and just stop, just like that. So now I'm gonna get out and open up the doors and I'm gonna show you how simple this is. So just pay attention. So now I can just open my doors and never open the doors just standing in front especially when it's a full trailer. Always come to the side. Just swing the door over. Just do it like that. Make sure you latch it. And come to the other side. Pull this over like this. Make sure this side is latched. So now, the next procedure, I'm gonna get back in the truck. And I'm gonna do the three-point stand. Open the door. Make sure you grab this gun out here. Because that gives balance. And just take the first step. One, two, three. That's the three steps getting. So once I'm in, I can close my door. I'm gonna check this mirror and then I'm gonna look at that mirror on this side. Cause some, cause sometimes things could pop up anytime. So always look before you bang. And, and now I'm gonna release my parking brakes and I'm putting it in reverse. So I'm gonna just bag up slowly. And you see I'm bagging up at this dock because there's plenty of room to open the door. There's nothing close to me on either side. Just bag up slowly and let it bump. Just take your time. Now, and then I get out. If you want to leave it running, you can, but just make sure that your parking brakes and trailer brakes have been know pull out the lease so why the trailer won't grow because I haven't shot the wheel yet. The first thing I'm gonna do is walk to the back and I'm gonna chop my wheel just in case I didn't release the brakes chop the wheel so it won't grow. This is how you probably chop the wheel. Now I'm going to wind this down. Now, this is the proper way of dropping 
dropping the trailer. Now, this trailer that I got is empty. So, I really don't have to extend too much. Uh, just wind it down enough like that. You know, to why it's touched because it's empty. Then, uh, next thing I'm going to do. I should have unhooked these first. But sometimes it goes pretty well. And pull this pin. I'm gonna pull that pin. Now I'm gonna get back in the truck. Take the three-point stand, climb up in it, close my door. Now Pulling out. Uh, don't don't pull out too quickly. Take your time. Ease out. Just put it in the gear. Stay on your brakes. And then take a look back. And just ease out very slowly. 